Nvidia and Mercedes just made an announcement that could signal a fundamental shift in the entire automotive industry. What they've announced is a partnership to work together on a centralized computer for the car. Now this is an operating system, it's an autonomous drive system, and it filters in through to the infotainment system that will be updatable with new services to develop new business models for how we interact with our car. The reason this is significant is that right now, the only other manufacturer on the market who's doing a centralized computer for their car is Tesla. And for the past, what, six, seven, eight years, Tesla's been able to do over-the-air updates, updating the features, the drive style, the infotainment system, the maps, while other manufacturers have just been struggling to deliver OTAs, over-the-air updates, to their cars. I mean, Volkswagen is releasing a car, the ID3, very shortly that won't come with OTAs straight away. Are you guys curious? Let's dive into the keynote. Yeah, this is the biggest partnership of its kind in the transportation industry that's ever happened. And this partnership breaks grounds in several different fronts. Of course, the first part is the technology and we're leveraging Nvidia's multi-billion, multi-year investment in a platform, autonomous vehicle platform, we call it the NVIDIA Drive. And this is, this is the first time a partnership is going to work together from top to bottom and end to end. From the chip to the most powerful computer, to the system software, to the application for autonomous driving, from end to end, from data collection to AI model creation and testing and virtual reality simulation and over the air updates. The second part, is that the entire product is going to be designed differently. Where, whereas in the past, a car is uh, at its best condition at the point of sales and the moment you take ownership of it. But in the future, this is gonna be a perpetual upgradable machine. And there'll be thousands of engineers that are working along with your car for the entire life of the car. And their software is going to be developed on these AI supercomputers to write the special type of machine learning application that will then be upgraded into the car for its entire life. Of course Jensen gets it. Of course Nvidia understands what the digital future of the car needs to look like. Updatable. But the thing is, Mercedes seems to really understand that the way that a car is built today isn't going to be remotely relevant to a way that a car needs to be in 10 years. For us, this is such a, a crucial part of our strategy. As I mentioned uh, in the analogy of a smartphone on wheels, uh, we're developing a full-scale operating system for the whole vehicle. So a Mercedes-Benz operating system. And, and there's no domain that is more important uh, on that map than driving assistance and autonomous drive. Uh, so this effort of an operating system, it will work seamlessly with the work that we're doing now with NVIDIA that we already started, as I mentioned, in the infotainment uh, domain. Uh, so literally, uh, we will have a software architecture that will be downloadable over the air. All right, now before we carry on, I just want to give you a little bit more industry context so you really understand why this is so important. Back in the day, NVIDIA and Tesla had a relationship. They stopped working together, no one really knows why. But if you take a look at Tesla's tech day, they actually discuss NVIDIA. So it seems pretty clear why the partnership ended. If you compare it to, uh, say, NVIDIA's Drive Xavier solution, a single chip uh, delivers 21 teraops. Um, our full self of driving computer with two chips is 144 teraops. So obviously, Tesla stopped working with NVIDIA because they wanted to make their own platform, the silicon right through their software. And if you look at the smartphone industry, this is exactly what you have to do. All of the big players, Apple, Samsung, Huawei, they all make their own processors all the way through to customizing their, their software quite heavily. So what Tesla did in this keynote it was completely unfair to NVIDIA because they compared a system that was single chip only for assisted driving to their fully autonomous platform. If they compared it to the correct system, the, Pe the NVIDIA Pegasus, this would be 320 tops, whereas Tesla's system does 144. Now what I love, because we're hopping back to the keynote now, is that Mercedes understands this. They understand the necessity 
of the hardware and software platform and how this platform needs a lot of headroom for the future. But I would like to add one aspect, which I think is very, very important here. And I think uh, uh, Jensen kind of hinted at it. It's the power of the chips. You need computing power uh, for that product to be able to grow over time and be better later than when you bought it. It's almost like you, you almost go for a little bit of an overkill on computer, computing power in the beginning. It's like you're buying a new house, but you're not furnishing all the rooms at once. You leave some uh, spare capacity to add more furniture later. You need the best software engineers and, of course, a high, p high power uh, computing platform. And I think the software engineers uh, that NVIDIA uh, provides into this par partnership are, are world class. It's the best in the world, uh, and we're adding our team to that. Now, this is a massive shift because of the two companies that are involved. Mercedes is a industry leader who focuses on quality, luxury, and they have been focusing on digital for quite some time. And NVIDIA is a pure Silicon Valley company. This is tech for tech. They have a spaceship as their HQ. Now, this is where I want to take the time to address one of the criticisms of NVIDIA, that people say that because they're doing gaming as their primary thing, they're not really an automotive company. That's true, actually. NVIDIA is doing a lot of stuff, not just gaming. I mean, it's important. That's why their stock is going absolutely through the roof right now during lockdown. Everybody's gaming. But if you've been to a NVIDIA conference, you'll also know that they're mapping black holes, that they're enabling researchers to use nanotechnology to cure cancer. They're a graphics and supercomputer company, right? And yeah. Automotive hasn't been their full-time focus, but I think with this partnership on the table, they have the opportunity to revolutionize an industry. And if you listen to what they're saying in the keynote, both of these CEOs understand the potential. The definition of a car is going to change forever. No longer will uh, the best moment of your car experience be at the point of sale. In the future, the car is the starting point. The beautiful, amazing Mercedes-Benz is the starting point of their experience with Mercedes-Benz. Behind it will be thousands of engineers. And those thousands of engineers are, are like they're gonna stay with you. They're your personal software and artificial intelligence research lab that's gonna stay with you your entire ownership life of that car. The business model, of course, of the car industry will change. Uh, I am absolutely convinced that this business model is gonna revolutionize the way that cars are sold and cars are enjoyed. Could you imagine owning a product and at the point that you eventually would like to hand it to your child, uh, that car was actually, is actually better than the car that you bought because the software was better, the capability was better, it was more personalized to you, it's smarter. All of these capabilities are simply not possible in the past. Now I'm gonna pull a sneaky one and we're gonna jump ahead to the very last question in the keynote. Now Ola is asked about 20 year old Mercedes Benz, that are having the latest features because the cars are updatable. I think this is where we see the two CEOs aren't quite seeing eye to eye. Jensen has this really strong vision of what the future and potential of this platform can be for the entire industry and world. And Mercedes-Benz is a company that wants to sell cars and services and iterate new business models and create a luxury brand for their consumers. I'm not saying that these two things that stand in opposition, but they are two sides of the same coin. I think that last point, uh, my whole uh, design and styling team, they would resign if that was, would be the case. <laughs> Don't worry about that. It's not, it's not going to happen. Um, we're a luxury brand. We make luxury products. Uh, like every luxury brand, uh, you always have to reinvent luxury. Uh, it's got to be the right thing at its time. And styling is so important. It's so important that you keep the product fresh. So in terms of product life cycles, how long they are, I don't foresee a major shift there, but once you have bought one of those vehicles and many of the Mercedes turns into classics to hold on to them, uh, some of them appreciate more than the stock market if you buy the right one. Uh, and the great news is that product will be even more valuable because those engineers, those engineering angels in the background, they're providing more content for you as you go along. But don't worry, we will always have imagination for reinventing uh, what luxury in the automobile space is supposed to look like. All right, now before we unpack that, let's just hear one more response to a question. It's a quick one. Is this partnership exclusive? 
Well, eventually we would like to see all cars be autonomous. So that would be a no. Of course NVIDIA doesn't want to have an exclusive partnership. They want to sell their autonomous drive platform to as many manufacturers as possible. I'm not saying that the work that these two brands do together won't be exclusive. It definitely will. But now the entire automotive industry will have the potential to create that digital ecosystem specifically for their driver. Own a Porsche, order some hookers and blow right through your infotainment system. Have a BMW, you're a bro who likes to spin your tires and that's enabled through your car too. Maybe your autonomous drive does that for you. Speaking of BMW, actually, if you missed it, there was some pretty hot news that came out where Daimler and BMW announced the fact that they were sort of ending or dissolving or putting on pause their partnership for working on level four or five autonomous drive. Now I got that completely wrong where I blamed BMW for having a terrible strategy in automotive in general. My bad, I didn't see what was happening behind the curtain. It was actually Daimler who wanted out because they wanted to get into bed with Nvidia. Let's call it a pause and perhaps not an end. Uh, it was mainly a timing issue. When do you want to go for the next generation technology? And uh, we decided that we want to do this with Nvidia uh, towards the end of 2024. Uh, once we have kind of harvested our first generation in this domain that we're developing right now. Perhaps at some later time, those paths will come together again. So I know what you're thinking. Technology partnerships like these tend to have a pretty poor track record. But let me explain to you why I think this one is different. Innovation comes at the intersection of different industries. And Nvidia is a graphics company who's heavily digital. From their history in gaming, fostering communities, creating hardware for that community, taking their knowledge in graphics and mapping black holes and trying to cure cancer, they're in so many different fields that bringing this knowledge into automotive is unique. This isn't Mobileye or Argo or Wago that are super narrow, trying to provide a autonomous drive service. This is a bigger vision. And I think Nvidia is the right partner that can provide this to Mercedes. So what do you guys think? Is that a little too fangirly? Did you, <laughs> too far, too far? Let me know in the comments. I've been having lots of chats on Twitter about why I'm maybe overly confident about the potential of this partnership, but I'm happy to discuss. Let me know what you think. I'm Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks.